Oh no, my rotten flesh and my bone meal. Alright, well, I can at least go identify this shit now. Oh wait, we're probably gonna crash first. Yeah. Now you'll probably make that. It's not that. Like, it's still three minutes away. That's plenty of time. I love how my charge actually launches me up into the air a little bit. So when I use it, I just bounce across the field of battle. I don't run, I bounce. I have no idea why charge is a bounce rather than a anything else. This is pretty fun getting on top of these buildings. I mean, it is great fun. Mage was even better for that. Can he fly? Mage gives you a teleport. Anywhere you look, you can go to. That's kind of... Yeah, it used to be even better than it is, though. It used to be broken. As in glitched. What did it do? Um, it used to be that you could teleport through walls. An mm. unintended feature, but really allowed for you to cheat a lot. <laughs> That's pretty fun. Oh boy, was it fun. I could complete a dungeon in half a second. Why? Because half the dungeons, the boss room is right next to the entrance. <laughs> but you do some big-ass loop around to get to it. You wouldn't know that unless you were a mage and you just pitched through the fucking wall. Like a little asshole. But yes, I would beat dungeons so fast it wouldn't even matter. seconds. You better hurry. I think that if you're not going to make it in the next 10 seconds, you're not going to make it in the next 20 seconds. Probably. There's another knife. Ooh, ba baby, the knives. I think the game's telling me something. It's like, hey, you know how you were going to play Assassin for like <laughs> half a second? Yeah, remember that. There you go. And the server's dead. It's not dead. Just right click on the compass and pick enough. <laughs> uh, eight? Eight looks pretty nice right now. Eight? Yeah, it looks yeah. pretty good. Let's go to eight. Like, the whole world's different. <laughs> it's just no, a bunch. Yeah, it's identical. That'd be kind of cool, though, if they had different worlds. Yeah, but then it would suck. Uh, because when you go to... Um, it would suck because then when you leave one server and go to another because it restarted, you're somewhere else entirely. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I guess that would be weird. But I guess they would, like, if you switch, they would have, like, a safe lock to send you back to a set point. That'd be yeah. easy to program, I think. Well, like, they do have it so you can go back to the same spot, but if the map was different, they can't take you somewhere else in the world entirely. Like, where do you, how do you expect these maps to be different, exactly? I don't know. The most they could possibly do is change up where the ruins are. That's about it. Because... Well, they can make one, like, a snow biome. Actually, they probably have that already, don't they? There is a snow biome. Yeah. There's a, there is every biome you can imagine. Sure. Including Satan. Not Satan. Oh, is there a hell portal? There is hell. Sort of. Hell is PvP. That's a little they silly. Have an entire dimension devoted to PvP because. Yeah. There is an area on the map that is like hell anyway, though. It isn't like in the nether, but it is like the nether. So. It serves the purpose. Mm hmm. 
All right, time to get some shit. Oh, I, I need to get this ring identified. This is probably like the first thing, first and foremost. Twenty emeralds, easy enough. I mean, if you want to hand me that uh, spear. Uh, plus six percent loot bonus. That's it. Oh, well, that's kind of lame. Uh, yeah, I guess so. You want me to identify it for you? Because I'm a nice fellow? No. I mean, Alright. Here, here's one. And here's two. Yeah, there's also that one. Uh, Alright, well. Third one isn't too bad. Um, I shall give you a potion. Potion? No. Okay. Can I, like, throw it out? Can I, like, throw it out? Yeah, I can throw it out. Oh, good. I already have four of those. Thanks. Oh, you can upgrade them, though. Can I? Yeah, here. An entire stack of rotten flesh. Uh, no. You don't want that? No. Seriously? If you throw that to a junk merchant, that's like 32 emeralds. Oh, really? Well, it takes like three seconds to get that, so why don't you just give me the emeralds and save me the time? Because I don't... I don't have an easy ability here. You gave me like two. No, you gave me five. So I'm looking more for like uh, 20, maybe. I don't, oh. know why it's separated. I, don't, I don't like them separated like that. I think you need I to fix that. There's nothing I can do about that, Ron. There's Fine. absolutely nothing. Oh, I can no, do no, about no, no. Yeah, whatever. Alright, let's see what you got for this bow. Dart sling. Normal attack speed. That's powerful, but it's like... Dexterity plus four. And spell damage. Oh, wait, dexterity. Isn't that dex... Oh, that means my crit hit. Ooh. Hello, Dolly. Ooh, that's nice. That's very nice. That's very nice. However, I also have another bow. Might as well give that a try, too. The Breeze. Oh, it has air damage on it. Plus 7% walk speed. Plus 2 agility. Wow, that's pretty cool. My agility is skilled to be at least level 4. Well, no, guess I'm not using that. Well, you know what? If you'd like to accompany me, I'm going to go to the dungeon. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good Should idea. I start a quest as well first? I mean, actually, I have a ton of stuff to sell first. Unless you actually, like, attempt to do the quest, it's not like quests just get completed over time. You actually have to yeah. be actively try. So accepting a quest doesn't really work doing until you're actually going to do the quest. Let's try this legendary chest plate on for size. Ooh. Yo, try this fucking shitty pile of crap chest plate on for size, man. I also love how I got this nice potion of agility that requires me to be level 35. Like, that's good. That's cute. Not sure what the flying hell I'm going to need that for, but it's a thing. It kind of annoys me. Like, when I go to sell an unidentified item, it's always, like, one to three emeralds, and I'm always thinking, well, how much could I have gotten had I identified it and then sold it? Because I always think to myself, well, maybe I'd get more of that way. But half the time when I do that, I get less. I think I lost track of this stuff. Yeah. Hmm. The dungeon isn't hard to find anyway. It's actually a joke to find. Now, the thing is, I'm going to tell you the way to get to it, and it'll somehow take you like an hour to find. Yeah, something like that. You're gonna be like Johnny. Oh my god, Johnny was the worst. 
He had no, like, literally not a smidge of a sense of direction. Like, you could tell him to go to a town he's been to a hundred times, and he'd be like, how do I get there? And I'm like, just, just go. It's like right there. Just, just go. Just, yeah. just, you have to go, Johnny. It's not hard. It's like right there, even. He actually one time asked me how to get to town, and he was like, it was just out of sight, and we had just walked from town. Like, he knew where it was. So either he was being an asshole, which is very likely, or he somehow lost, got himself lost already. Alright, Zooper, how do I equip powder onto a bow or weapon? A powder master. Not a powder merchant, a powder master. Oh, I just totally realized this bow doesn't even have fucking powder slots. God damn it. Welcome to that world. Can you add powder slots on weapons? No, I don't think so. Maybe you can. Not as far as I'm aware. Powder completely changed from back when I used it. Because remember, mine was just the anvil. Yeah. Um, I don't know how the powder master system works. There wasn't, there didn't used to be powder slots either. Every weapon you can apply a powder to, but only one. Now you can apply like four or five to some, some, not all, not many, even. Bit of a shame. Oh well, I can live. I mean, I still have my other bow, which is not bad. I could have like one for regular attacking, one for electricity, in theory. Alright, so, should I just start the quest? What quest? I don't know. You're like, should I start the quest? There's no quest. Yes. Okay. Like, the dungeon? Prison, story, cook system, spider cave, underwater. Dungeons are just for whenever the fuck you want to do them. Ah, uh, okay. There's rewards for doing it, though. Like, every time you kill the boss, you get a part of their body. Uh, for mm. instance, this guy, is, um, his rib cage, to be the skeleton. <laughs> All right, so, you can so get that from him when you kill him, and then you can trade those for items. All right, where's this dungeon at? So, walk straight back into Ragni. Okay, I'm like right there. All right, so when you get to the area where you could turn right and get to the farms, yes, yes. All right, it's over by the dungeon scroll merchant. So oh. Over by the farms. But it's outside. Yeah, and then you follow the stone brick path from there to outside of town. And you just keep following the path and you'll get to the dungeon. It's easy. Farm a calorie. I'd, I'd be shocked if you somehow could not manage to find it. Oh, hey, a wheat merchant. I can sell a wheat. Yeah, if I can sell a wheat. Also, I need to do this again. What? Hold on just a sec. Uh, just give it a sec. I need to... Do it again, I need to go up through the, the commands again. There you go. Wow. We weren't in a party. Good. No, I like it. Oh, oops, wrong button. It wasn't mattering because we weren't. Yes. Close enough that it would matter. But, in the dungeon, we would be close enough. Give me a sex zombie, don't be rude. Knocks me underwater and he just stops. Alright. So, I'm at the farms. Just keep walking. That's my simple advice. Just keep walking. In that direction, past the farms? Past the farms, just keep walking. Out that entrance and then keep walking down that path. You'll get there. 
Alright, I see it's some like type a, of... It's almost like a mini town, right outside of yeah, the Yeah, I see the mini town, yes. Alright, I'm gonna go to the bathroom real quick. I oh, hey, you missed a chest just randomly in the middle of nowhere out here. Yeah. Alright, I'll be back in a second. Dungeons, don't, don't think the dungeons are that amazingly interesting. They're really not. <laughs> Shiver, nah, yeah, there's people in my chat that I didn't even realize. Anyway, yeah, we'll Ooh. What the hell? That's weird. It's like if I right click on something that's usually right clickable, it turns into a left click. That's frustrating. Wait a minute, there's totally something up there. That's so frustrating. If I right click on something that's usually right clickable, like a chest, then it translates it into a left click, which makes me use my ability. because that's how it works for every other class and then that just somehow transferred over to <laughs> archer because like archers are um a weird sort because you don't draw back your bow anymore now technically speaking you could actually do right click to um use your abilities that's why they didn't used to be able to but then they just kept it that way um mm. so like the problem is that now that you don't draw the bow back anymore you're not holding a bow. I don't even think the bow that you hold is a bow. I'm pretty sure you're like holding a stick or something. And the texture pack just mm. makes it look like a bow. So I just picked up a wedding ring. Uh, I believe... The, is that an accessory or is that a quest item? Uh, an untradable yeah, item. Uh, does it give you any stats when you equip it though? No, it's just a wedding ring. Yeah. It looks like a gas tier. Yep. Or a super rare one. Super rare? Maybe. Is that the dungeon right there? Uh, it's fairly notable. I will glide down towards it. You can't really move in midair after you use escape. Yeah. I see you though. So either you're in the wrong place, or... Somehow on different servers or something. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we're both on server 8. I mean, we joined the same party, so I assume. I don't see you, though. So you might be in the wrong place. Maybe. I know I'm in the right place. What the fuck? Is it a level... F oh, I thought that said level 45 sand block, but now it's just a crab hiding in sand. Wouldn't it be great if it was like Xenoblade, where just occasionally this is just this fucking stupid overpowered monster in the middle Yeah. That would just be excellent. Man, I would love to have, like, a level 45 zombie in this field. You just know that's going to cause problems. <laughs> oh, man, this... There is hmm. some latency on this server. Right yeah, a little bit. Sometimes I need to swing more. I never would have guessed. Dude, he, like, heard me. He was like, damn, dude, latency? Ah, that's, that's always on Windrush. I never would have guessed. Probably not at all. I think it was responding to the other guy. Oh, cool trick. If you take your age, add that number by three, that's how old you'll be in three years. Yeah, okay. I didn't see that message, so it's just like, uh... It's interesting that somebody actually used one of their shout stuff. 
reply to that guy? Why wouldn't you just PM him and be like, hey, fuck How many you? shouts do you get in a day? Shouts? You need to buy them. Wow. They cost money. But shouts are really good because they uh, display your message across all servers. So you get to bug harass everybody. Office. Yeah, you get to harass everybody. Usually what people use it for is, uh, hey, I've got this. Do you want to trade? PM me if you want to trade. So, that's usually what you see there. But that's fine. That's useful. If I had a greedy zombie with the golden helmet. Walk through the wall. Oh, wait, there, there he is. I have no idea where I am. Where the hell he is. I don't know where he is. He doesn't know where he is. Somehow, even though you followed my direction, you ended up God knows where. <laughs> I mean, it's a fun adventure. Despite it being very annoying, because there's like a zombie throwing emeralds at me as a weapon. Oh my god, this is terrible. All right. Time to resume my search for you. Here, I'm going back into Ragni so that you're you're able to find me easily. I feel like I'm just I was terrorizing that guy anyway. Like there's a guy I was next to, and anytime one of those skeletons that had a key. Spawned, I was killing him, and then he was like desperately trying to get the key as well because I think he doesn't have any. Hey, ask him if he wants to trade uh, 300 gold. Yeah, hey, do you want to give me like all of your emeralds for one key? Yeah, thanks. Even though you only get 12 emeralds for completing the dungeon, the other reward is better. Yeah. Uh, you only get 12 emeralds, which is despicably low. You get like 300 XP or some shit, and then you get like. You get a rib cage. Which, if you get enough of those, you can uh, buy stuff from one of the merchants. All right, just like I found a pirate the... ship. Where the fuck are you? Did a you little a ship. ship. Well, it's like a little ship. There's like oh. a giant tower thingy. I almost know where you might be, but somehow you overshot the dungeon. Is this it? Like this this giant thing? Does this it look, look like a giant cave entrance? No, it looks more like a well-rounded house. It's not gonna look like that. How? I think you overshot the dungeon. Like you walked right past it without noticing it. Because the the only way you're seeing a pirate ship is if you went to the shore. Like yeah. The Actually, there was like a little pond where it had a ship. Uh, was a pond? I don't know where you are, man. You have managed to... Actually, I discovered something recently that you can look at the map and you can see yourself. So I wonder if I'm, if I'm partying with you, if I can see who you are. Oh, I need to... Oh my god, please, come on. Alright. Uh, I need to get this map to actually code. But then I, I actually did see you on the map, but it was unupdated, so I need to refresh. So I'm gonna see if I can find where you are. Come on, map, you can do it. You can load. I believe in you. Come on. Come on. Uh, it's only like some of the time when I refresh the page does it actually load the map. It's annoying as sin. Please, 
Please, I just want to look at the map. Okay. I'll take a second, but then you should shut up. On there. Uh, it's taking a second. It still isn't loading. You or I on the map. Still see that on the face. Maybe I'll get level 14 before you figure it out. Well, while I'm trying to figure this out, you're grinding. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grind while this map loads. Because I'm gonna fall behind. Well, where are you? I'm like roughly 13. Mm. I'm like one monster away from 13, but you're probably like almost one monster away from 14 over there. Yep. Actually, I am 14 now. The difference is, no matter how much you level up, I'll still end up higher level than you, no matter what. Probably. Because. I'm gonna get bored one day and just play anyway. Oh dear, oh dear. I won't get that much further ahead. Wait, is that you? Wow. Yeah, oh. <laughs> well, I figured it out. I went off in the grinding direction. Hey, I, you just now loaded onto the map. Fantastic. Solid. Look at that. Now, should I lead you to the dungeon, or should I let you figure it out? I'll figure it out. Mr. Amazing Directional... Found it! That's not it. Wow. That's not even close to it. Oh, is Look that... Is it with the giant flag? Nope. That is Ragni. That would be kind of embarrassing. Uh, well, I, th I think you'll still be somewhat embarrassed. Because it was, it is pretty obvious. Hmm. I don't see it. Wait, where'd you go? I just kept walking. Oh. I missed it. Oh, there you are. Hello. Super, follow my arrows. Don't need to follow your arrows. I know where I'm going. That's 13. Oh my god, this is annoying. I frankly want to relog. <laughs> oh, this is terrible. It's like, I can't actually hit a mob until like, probably four. This is actually not that bad for me. It's like, obnoxious. Oh, that's because the lag in the world I just got it. A bunch of people joined. Fantastic. This is my favorite. There's like tons of people joining. Oh, well, I gave him a key, so that's pretty good. Well, hold on a sec before you go in. I need to create the party again. Hey, there's a dungeon merchant. Yeah, that's where you uh, create in the body parts. Ah, look at that. A rib cage. Yeah. Ooh. I have access to the dungeon. Alrighty. I have like not enough items. I wish there was an item cell over here. You have not enough items. Yeah. What do you mean not enough items? Well, I mean like I don't have enough room. My inventory is like completely full. Oh, 
Well, you toss crap on the ground. Like potions? Do you have excess potions? Toss them on the ground. Yeah, but they're kind of nice. Ooh, Corrupted Gate, level 70. That's for if you want to take on this dungeon. And you're really high level. And you don't want it to be easy for you. That's nice of them. Okay, I can probably throw oh. that away. I can throw that away. This is actually a pretty decent bow that I have. 31 to 40 damage. But whatever you have might be better than that. 31 to 40? Yeah. That's kind of ridiculously overpowered. I have a but 10 to 28. Very, but it's very slow attack speed. I mean... It's got no special abilities. It's oh. a generic bow. Okay, yeah, I like my dart bow better. Gives me plus my dexterity, which is kind of dope. I'll take that. Come on in. Oh. Alrighty. Alright. Wait. Jump down. You're safe. Foo! These walls could talk. And then, uh, boss is talking to us, saying, Get the fuck out of here! I don't know what he said. Uh, you guarantee the sewers here and this mistake will cost you your life. Yeah, it won't cost you your life, this is easy. Uh, we need to get 20... Are they dropping blocks of gold? Oh, no, tokens. No, they're dropping tokens. You need uh, 18 of them between us. To open the door. Now the latency is really bad. Oh my god, the latency is terrible. What the hell is this? This is disgusting. Why do I need to hit you 50 times before you actually take damage? This is ridiculous. I literally cannot hurt anything because of this latency. Airstorm works really well with latency because I launched like 50 arrows and I'm like, oh, well shit, I guess one of these has to hit. How many tokens do you have? Uh, five. I have not. So, if we can get, as long as we get to 18 between us, there's an extra person in here. Oh, people snuck in with us. Are not supposed to be able to do that? I mean, you can, but it's, it's going to make this dungeon a fucking ridiculous joke <laughs> to have four people in here. I'm just going to toss what I have in here, so I don't think it matters. Other people toss their stuff, we should be able to make it in. Ross, toss your blocks in there too. Your tokens. Mm hmm. Come on, how many? There it is. Alright. Let's right, just play, you're gonna be mine well, eventually. Up, Ross. The door will close on your ass. Oh. Uh. Awkward. Well, you need to farm the tokens now yourself. Enjoy that. Fuck. Gate. I can't help you. Uh, I'll You're be the, back. Why the hell are you gonna inventory management? I was waiting for fun stuff. I know the door would shut on me. Yeah, Talk about rude. Like Twenty seconds to get through the door, which is actually a lot of time. I'm shocked at you. Talk you about rude. That's not rude. That's pretty We're rude. We're in a dungeon. You should be paying attention. <laughs> Inventory managing. I was sitting on someone else's item. I was getting dropped. Well, if somebody's dropping their items, you can't pick them up anyway. Well, I mean, like, they, they oh, left the item on the ground. I was waiting for it to become able to be picked up. If they dropped it on the ground, it was probably garbage. Well, they didn't drop it. It dropped from a monster that they killed. They didn't bother picking it up. Okay. No, it really wasn't. But, I mean, these guys are going to defeat the boss anyway, so we'll get to take on the boss on our own. Because they'll definitely be into the boss room by the time you get here. <laughs> because they're a team of two, whereas you're farming them alone over there. Not that it takes me that long. When I'm soloing this dungeon, it takes me like five minutes to clear the entire thing. So. Yeah. How many do I need? 18? You need... Yeah, 18 for that first one. Alright, I'll get this. It's not that hard. Like, that's not that many. 
Which means you gotta kill like three things. I like one shot half of them, so. I don't know if your bow one shotting anything. It's like 10 to whatever damage. 10 to 28? Because my dexterity is awesome. I guess if like you get And my strength is also ridiculous. It's like all strength and dexterity. My strength is at fourteen and my sledge, which is my weapon, that's twenty five to thirty seven. How the hell are you one shotting me? Well actually I'm one shotting me too, but like I guess it's feasible that my damage is just that much more insane or it doesn't even matter, but it's like the difference is that I actually have to be, like, right next to them. I think the damage output that I do is better, but I have to be there, which sucks, because I can actually get hit. Alright, one more. I believe in you. You can do it! You're gonna like the next one. It's I guarantee it. Seriously. Yeah, but it's easy. It's like the easiest fucking parkour. In fact, if you fall on this parkour, it will be an impressive feat to me. Oh, this guy's gonna open it for me. This guy's gonna open it for you? It should just open on its own. In a second. I think it just opened. Don't, we both work together, even though I collected them all anyway. I all right. Most of them for that first door opening. Yeah, well, I collected them all for oh, my door opening. I want to hear it. Another dude walked in on you. <laughs> yeah, I told you he helped me. Did he help you? Yeah, a little bit. I mean, I I already put them all in anyway, so I sort of just helped him more like. But oh well, uh, good enough. You can do it. Easy parkour. Watch the latency. Fuck me. <laughs> It is actually getting me in the air. I'm like getting a little bit of a spike, mm -hmm. but it is easy enough. Other fourth row shouldn't matter. What's up? Okay. You do it. I see you looking at your inventory or whatever. All right. A really easy jump there, Ross. I think you can do it. I think you can mm -hmm. make it. I will complete it. You're just like standing there, and I'm like. Oh yeah. Damn, dude, that's Brother sick. wants to sleep in the basement because he's falling off the couch. Upstairs. I'll probably give him the basement right after this. Yeah, you might give me like ten minutes ish. Okay. Oh, yeah, I'm just kind of tired. I'll give him real quick. Finish this up. Hmm. Oh. I didn't even pay attention to the parkour, but I won. So good. Yeah, the parkour is such a... Also, the latency has gotten to a whole new level of deprived. It's actually terrible. Well, it's really annoying to me now, because now it's not registering the hits. But oh, now, so like, so nothing was moving. Yeah, that happens, too, sometimes. It's like, if it's not registering the hits, it's my normal, like, normal Minecraft swing speed. I don't care. But when it's not registering the hits... And it's the slow ass swing speed of this sledgehammer. It's not a pain. If I'm gonna swing this hammer, I'm gonna get the fucking credit for it. <laughs> it takes way too much time for this thing to swing. Now, there's a lot of people in this dungeon right now. Like the original two that we were with a, a bit ago, they're still here. Yeah, how many do we need for the next part? This next one is 26. I'm oh. pretty sure between everybody in this room, we probably have it. Yes, definitely make sure to let me know. Well, I can't tell you for sure. You should probably get towards the entrance, though. Oh, it's towards know. the entrance? No, towards the... Oh, door. I already got through a door. I think I... Yeah, I did it. Sorry, Zooper. That's not the door you need to go through, though. I mean, that'll open for me in a second. Uh. This is where you need to, this is one of the doors you have to pass by now. Oh. I just love how this mage was like, here, let me just teleport. I fell off the parkour, and then he fell to his death because he didn't realize that although you can go up with the teleport, it doesn't let you get that high. 
You can thank me later for that. Make sure you get up towards where uh, you need to be. Gotcha. Because to uh, so if it's like 20 seconds and you're nowhere near it, you won't make it. Gotcha. As long as you keep moving, you'll probably make it to where you need to be. Okay, so. so just keep going up? Yeah, just make an effort to go up. Oh, okay, oh, I see. Oh my god, that is obnoxious. I can't even use my abilities. It is impossible. <laughs> it's like infuriatingly slow to actually activate the ability. I don't think it's a problem at this point in terms of uh, tokens because I don't know how many the rest of these people have. I have 14 alone. I feel like in just a second I'll have enough to do it myself. Yeah, bait. So we're we're pretty much golden. We actually have enough, so you can get your ass up here. We can just ignore these people. Shouldn't be hard to get up here. Almost there. Through. This door will open, so be prepared. Okay. Got it. Oh, the door blew up, so. Yeah. And, well, it's usually supposed to drop down slowly, but it blew up because of the latency. Anyway, this is oh. the boss, Witherhead. I don't even see you. Are you invisible? I'm right next to you. Yeah, you're invisible. So we just press this button. See, that proves that I'm here. <laughs> yeah. You just go in. You have made your choice. Now prepare to breathe your last. Easy, easy. Well, this is hard. Well, when he does that, it's kind of annoying. He, get, he has rapid shot, too. Just like you do. Hmm. Oh, hey, there's his bone. The bone of scone, yep. on the way. Yeah, but I probably got to call it now so I don't wake Dalton up. Feel kind of right. bad. Alright, well. I mean, this is pretty yeah. interesting so far. I'm pretty impressed with how this went so far. But, yeah, for the time being... Point. We're actually stopping in a semi-reasonable time. I would say this is actually a very reasonable hour for once. Well, that's that. <laughs>